Hi, it's Christopher Dean and welcome to part 14 of a tutorial series where we build a design system in Sketch. This time we're doing breadcrumbs and pagination. It's actually been three weeks since the last video. That's because I spent over a week in Chennai and Hong Kong, uh, just going to our company retreat and traveling around a little bit and then getting busy at home and life basically. So we're back and this is what we're going to be doing. Breadcrumbs and pagination. So just try to make the breadcrumbs as robust as possible. And to do that, you can have a level one in which you would just put home. You can swap it to a level two and this could be something like portfolio. Then you could swap that over to level four and add other levels. The pagination is a little bit simpler. Okay, so I didn't really want to put this in a nested symbol because this is something that could break quite easily. All I've done here is put pagination in Anima Auto Layouts stacks in a horizontal configuration to place an arrow on the left and the right, and then added some pages to the middle. And these we can just change to the numbers. It also means that if you don't need that many and you only want four, you can delete those. The arrow on the right will snap into place, and you can just fill it back in with the numbers that you do need. All right, let's get into it. Inside abstract, Go to the top right and select new branch. Enter breadcrumbs and pagination. Select create branch. Wait for it to sync. Then go over to the top right again and go edit and sketch. Okay, this is where we left off. I'm just going to delete the accordion that was in the mobile screen and the one that was in the desktop screen. Go back to the symbols page, zoom out, duplicate an artboard, let's take it a bit of 12, 500. Change its name to breadcrumbs and pagination. Copy that. Zoom in. Change the artboard's header to that. And we'll just put breadcrumbs here. Duplicate that, select the one at the bottom. Move it down a little bit. Copy this into here. Okay, so we've got our artboard set up. Just gonna save where I'm at. I'm gonna go and turn on the guides. So you can do that up here by selecting your artboard and selecting that icon. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Grab that artboard, collapse everything else, and drag it to the top. Okay, let's zoom in again. With that heading selected, I'm going to go over to the type tool and enter DT, P, P, black, left. I'm going to type in breadcrumb one. I'm going to zoom in and align it to that baseline. Okay, I'm just going to move that to the top here. Group it and type in breadcrumbs forward slash breadcrumb level one. Okay, that's all we need for the first one. 
So let's just build them out this way. I'm going to turn that into a symbol. Zoom out. Find it. There it is at the top right. Drag it back into place. Drag it on top of where this one was. Go to that artboard and delete the symbol we just made. We're going to move this up and delete that folder. Okay. Move it over. Now breadcrumbs normally take up the width of the content area of what you're designing. Uh, they get turned by the front-end developer into a div that does the same. So let's do that here. I'm going to select this, change its width to 1408, and its height to 40. I'm going to go back in, move this down to this baseline, I'm going to select that and group it and call that folder breadcrumbs. I'm going to then come down to the stacks and set that up now. That's just going to make things easier when we do the other levels. Okay, we also need a bounding box in the background. So let's go to our rectangle, draw out a rectangle that takes up the whole width and height. So again, that's 1408 and 40. Drag it to the bottom, rename it background, and go over to your styles and select shape, surface, bounding box. Set its resizing to fit all sides. And for the breadcrumb, select left, fixed width, and fixed height. Select the breadcrumb and select resizing left. Okay, that's level one done. We're going to drag this and duplicate it down. Position it there. Okay, the great thing about the stacks function, and you probably picked this up on some of my other videos, is the moment you drag and duplicate something, it'll snap. Ooh, we set it to the wrong settings. So let's go back, select horizontal, do the same for this one. Move this back into place. Okay, that's fixed. But we want a forward arrow between each breadcrumb. Go ahead and call this one number two, just to demonstrate this. Then between those, I'm gonna go grab icon, 16, Icon arrow right, primary. Let's drop it in the middle. See that snap into place? Let's turn on a grid and take a closer look. Change that to eight by eight. Okay, let's go back and drag that between the two and then select the folder again and change this to four. That's just giving it a bit of space. We're then going to grab the first breadcrumb and change it to gray. So we're going to go DTP, P, gray 2, left. Because now the active page is breadcrumb 2, and you can just click there to go back home if you like. Okay, let's select that symbol we just made and change it to level 2. Duplicate that again. Move it into place. Change its name to level three. Duplicate the breadcrumb. Duplicate the arrow. Move that arrow down between the two breadcrumbs you just made. Okay, I'm gonna have to swap the order of those. And change 
breadcrumb two to gray two. Add one more. Change that to level four. Just going to move this down a bit. Duplicate breadcrumb three. Drag it to the bottom. Change its name to four. Duplicate the arrow and bring that arrow down between them. Okay, to test this out, let's go to our artboards and grids. Turn on our grid and drop in breadcrumbs, breadcrumb level one. There it is. Let's zoom in and place it nicely. Just about there. Okay, let's change that to home. Then change it to level two. Okay, something's happened and we know what it is. We're gonna go back to symbols, select all of the breadcrumbs, and then change alignment from fixed to auto. And when we go back, it's fixed. So let's change this to portfolio, then change it to level three. This could be digital. Change it to level four. Okay, let's go in and change this one to gray two as well. That's what you get for jet lag. A lack of concentration. And let's change this breadcrumb to sketch. Okay, there you go. They will resize properly. And you can use them on mobile. You might have to design a slightly different one for mobile, but this will suit most cases. Let's turn this back to level two. Okay, let's now make our pagination. I'm gonna stay on this artboard and zoom in. I'm gonna grab icon 24, icon arrow left, black. Turn on the grid, move in, snap that into place. We're gonna add a piece of text. So paragraph P, gray to center. Just gonna click in there and add a hashtag. Move that into place and resize its width to 24. Okay, I'm gonna group that into pagination, forward slash pagination, inactive. Let's make a symbol out of this. Then go over to the symbols page, zoom out and find it at the top right. Drag that down. Align it. Give it a bounding box. So we're just going to drag a rectangle into there. It always seems to jump out of the symbol. There you go. Okay, let's drag those out of that folder. And delete it. Change this to VG for background. I'm going to shape surface bounding box. Okay, we're going to duplicate this, change its name to active, and change the style to DTP P black center. That'll be an active one. Okay, is everything where it should be? Yes. Okay, back here. I'm going to grab pagination, pagination active. I'm actually going to drag that one over to the right of it and then move those back. Place them eight pixels away from the arrow. I'm going to duplicate that a couple more times. Let's just do four. I'm 
I'm going to rename each of them the names that will help us identify them easily. Select that last one. Actually, let's select that arrow and bring it up. And move this up to the top here to get it out of the way. With that last one selected, I'm going to go and grab icon 24, icon arrow right, primary. Okay. And rename that to arrow. Uh, select, whoops, let's move that up. Select all of them and group them and add in pagination. Select all the numbers or the hashtags, group them and name this pages. Now, we're going to go to the stacks function again. So that's set up a horizontal stack. Let's make sure it has. Yep. And we're going to set up another one inside it. Okay, what this allows us to do is if you want to add more, you just duplicate and rename. And it just snaps into place with the arrows behaving as you would like them to. Okay, let's turn off our grid and our guides. Move this up a little bit. And add some numbers. Okay, so if page three was the active one and it hadn't gone over to like six, seven, eight, we could just now swap that to active and swap this to inactive. And okay, you could make the pagination into a nested symbol, but the more I tested it, the more it broke. So if you've got an idea for how to fix this, then leave it in the comments. But for now, we're just going to save where we are. I'm going to go back to the symbols page and make sure that's all tidy. Yeah, everything looks okay. I'll leave these here. Go in and delete number five so you can see that snap back into place. Come down to preview and commit in the abstract plugin. Enter breadcrumbs and pagination. Done. Select commit changes. Come over to the top right of abstract, select merge branch, select merge and archive. Okay, and there we are. Now we're getting pretty close to being able to build something with this design system. So maybe that's where I take it next. We could try building a masthead for desktop and mobile. So if that's a good idea, let me know in the comments. Uh, until then, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you next time. Bye.